Welcome back to Indie Now, friends. Our friend meteorologist, Beth Finello, is back. Beth, yes. how you doing? Good, how are you? Great, good to yes. see you. Now, usually when you're on, we're talking fall foliage. Right. All the changing beautiful colors. Right. But today we're talking about climate change and wine. Yes. Okay. Normally you pair wine with cheese yeah. or crackers. Not this time. Okay, so tell us a little bit about this. So yesterday I went out to Daniel's Vineyard and I talked with a viticulture extension specialist at Purdue. Wait, 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 wait. What's that title? Vitic I always say it wrong. I'm like, <laughs> I want to say something else. It's viticulture. She studies... Okay. Um, I specifically, she's very good with vineyards and, and grapes and stuff. So yeah. um, Central Indiana specifically has experienced late frosts over the last three springs. Okay. So the frosts usually go until May. Usually they shouldn't do that. They should stay usually March, April oh, is okay. typically the last frost. So what happens is, is we get these warm spouts. We get warm conditions in April, still pretty warm to the beginning of May. Yeah. Then we get this cold stretch of weather. And that's what that really impacts the grapes because what happens is on a specific grape like on a fruit uh -huh. there's three buds usually the okay. first bud is usually the healthiest it's the best grape all right well when the first bud is blooming because it's so warm and then the late frost happens it really damages that bud got it okay so that has really impacted a lot of vineyards here in central indiana okay so happy grapes are warm grapes yes okay <laughs> that, that just, just helps like me, me. <laughs> cold grapes unhappy warm yes. happy grapes is this going to impact like the flavor of the wine? So the quality will not change because you'll still get those secondary and tertiary fruits. Okay. But it will impact the quantity. So I was out at Daniel's Vineyard. Yeah. They said the quality has not changed, but they have noticed that their yields, their crops have been smaller than they normally would be over the last couple of seasons. Oh, okay. So they might have a limited batch of uh, available product that they can actually yes. sell to their consumer. Right. Okay. So are farmers going to have to adapt and shift to this? growing change in the climate? So with the the warming season getting longer, so the climate normals are for every 30 years. Okay. Our new normals came out in 2020. The warming season has been extended a week in central Indiana. So if the frosts are a little bit later and the warming season is a little bit longer and it usually goes through the middle of October, if the whole season shifts, yeah. then it's not going to be as much of an issue. If the season gets longer or those frosts get a little bit later, then they're going to have to try and deal with either different varieties of grapes that can be used uh, that can be that can grow during those cold batches because the grapes are good with dealing with the cold it's the extremes that they're not really enjoying that much that freaks them out a little bit yes okay. because they can gradually they'll go much like into I guess dormancy or hibernation okay. if the extremes are gradual if they're not gradual if it's 20 below tomorrow yeah that's when the damage really starts to okay. happen right. so what farmers are going to have to do is either move a little bit further south yes. to not deal with those extremes or change varieties of grapes because there are varieties of grapes that deal with that a little bit better okay beth and you're going to be back next next week talking more fall foliage yes. with us yes. took a little break this week with some wine right awesome thank yes. you for being here of beth course. we appreciate yeah. you hey coming up next